Yo, what's up guys, welcome back next match, Cross Bandlist Cup, well, first match actually, so the, the, the pilot episode I guess. So um, none of the decks are set yet, as I've mentioned in the announcement, uh, I think it was yesterday, but two decks, these were the two challengers from uh, past year, right? Um, and this is actually the pilot, so the, um, I, I guess the standard uh, statistics etc all have been updated going first going second this is the first deck list which uh, is tier element ishizu tier right the uh, tcg variant uh, which both has its strengths like it kalos as a power play the kelbeck etc but it has some choke points not too many <laughs> get kalos is the first one to name it it's going to take on snake eyes fire king fire king snake eyes currently Probably the best deck in the TCG and um, as, as well in the OCG. Very close to tier, I still call it tier 1. Uh, but again, it's also one of those decks that it's so, so, so good currently. Very close to being, um, you know, tier 0 0.0. And again, also have, has a, like a couple of choke points, but uh, not too many. And I mean, both decks definitely want to go first. But if we can compare, Ishizu tier or tier element, as you know, can definitely go second as well. Um, the bestials are decent-ish against Fire King, Snake Eyes, there are Darks, Mascarina, Linkaribo, but again, not the best. Uh, especially going second, those could be, uh, you know, go in. Instant Fusion is a card that should be banned, should have been banned together with Kit Kalos. You know, eventually Kit Kalos took the X, but I mean, it's so strong, milling those five in the end phase, it get, at least, you know, milling those um, Tirlaments whites, it gets you the Rule Karos. I think that's much more important, right, in negating the summon over, let's say, a Dragostaphilia, right? I think already had, like, a monster negation, or, yeah, the, the trap to negate the potential Snake Ice Ash, so that's, you know, super, super important against um, Fire Kings, Snake Ice Fire Kings, the hybrid. Um, so the matchups, as we've uh, we've seen a couple of moments ago, uh, the deck with the um, you know the biggest advantage. I could definitely agree with the people seeing that. Um, you know, I've read through the comments as well in the community tab that um, a tournament should slaughter Fire King Snake Eyes. Um, I could agree to some extent. You, you know, like. Tournament is she's way ahead of its time, plus the shufflers, like against which deck, against most decks, the shufflers are so game winning and it makes it so much more broken, right? Not only the, 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 the mill Ishizu cards, but the shufflers as well. So go second. Um, both side deck, as you know, the side deck is there. This was Heine's list, so side decking Super Poly and Droplets, I think. So opening with two is fine, because the Super Poly can be sniped now for Mud Dragon, and uh, Mud Dragon calling fire. So now the uh, Princess, Promethean Princess, should be blocked from the graveyard. Again, because, you know, your opponent is not able to, what is it, target the same attribute you picked off of Mud Dragon? So that includes their monsters. So now I'm kind of free to play. But look at this. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> Mil, Mil, Cap, you know, Mil Kelbeck, hit Kelbeck, Aguido as well. What, what was it? Mil 10? But, but look at this. <laughs> I get Call Knight and I get Crote. So I think I only have one tier element name left, which is Sharon, right? So she will be sent to the graveyard, I think, off of Reno, yeah. Uh, Reno, also one of those choke points, if you really, you know, have to pick choke points for, uh, for tier, right? So, um, I go for, what is it, um, Calero, yeah, bouncing back, oh, I thought I had game, this is not game, right, uh, yeah, Calero going in as well, oh, I go for Dweller, I mean, I'm not so sure if I would have been able to go for game, so I go for Dweller, Dweller is fantastic, it blocks the entire grave, it blocks the most, most of the package from Snake Eyes slash Fire Kings, um, so it you know prevents a Karen reborn, which you know eventually leads to another pop on field. So that's fine. So here I was like, okay, I should be back in the duel. Uh, again, the, being the graveyard being blocked, uh, still left my trap to negate monster effects. Sure, you know, Dweller is kind of sacrificed here, but I think either way, because they were so low on life points, I even though I missed, I missed with Hefness. There was just, I think, only one interruption left. I think we know the set. Mascarina is kind of dead without Flame Birch. And uh, I still have the um, uh, Mud Dragon on my side of the field, right? Uh, I can call whatever. Oh no, Primitian Princess was sent back. Yeah, with the Shufflers. <laughs> I mean, that, that was basically Fire King's best opening hand, no? 
uh, but I mean, I needed the super poly, etc. So I I connect, I connect with the Hefness drop, and this was a long one, really a long one. And uh, in hindsight, uh, this was an awkward game as well. In hindsight, I was like, oh, maybe I dropped my Hefness a bit too soon, because now I was like, there is always the potential threat of uh, Little Knight, and I didn't want to lose my Kit Kalos. So I was like, I, it's either, what is it, Rule Carols or um, Dragon's Tephilia. And I think going for Dragon's Tephilia was a bit better. And again, I don't want to sacrifice my Rule Carols for a potential Little Knight. But other than that, my hand is kinda okay. Already have called by the Cray for more interruptions during my turn. So this is, I feel, almost pretty much the same combo you want to end on with Fire King, no? Flame Birch reborning the two level ones, Promethean Princess. Has Dragon's Tephilia already used its effect? Probably on, was it on Ash? I missed that. Um, anyway, so again, yeah, with, with full combo Sunlight Wolf Link Rebo, you can get back your Kirin for next turn. There is the Little Knight, again, for more interruption during my turn. Like, like this is legit full full combo for, you know, for the deck. Even through Hefness and Dragos the Philly. The Pearl Reno definitely helps, because it could potentially, you know, give me more interruptions. And the Call By, again, useful to hit Flame Birch, get it out of the duel, plus it prevents the follow up place for Fire Kings and Snake Eyes. The Epo was kind of expected, and I make a small mistake here. Um, I should have used my um, my Scream, right? Because I was like, no, I'm just keeping Scream for next to chain block with uh, Kit Kalos, but already had a Field Spell as well, so I always would, always would have been able to chain block with both. Uh, it's fine though, because now the Apple already used the negation, so I'm able to attack over it and make the Bellar to kind of um, set the pace for the duel a little bit. So Kit Colossus returns, and I, I think I have a monster negation, right? Problem is the Little Knight, so I need to force out Little Knight first and see from there, and then use the potential monster negation. But there's Maxi also, and that's a huge bummer. Um, be oh, oh. Another small mistake, maybe on my part, I should have detached the Reno from my Dweller, because now, I will, luckily, I milled a trap, because now I was able to search Reno and drop Kaleido to field for interruption, and this eventually forces out Little Knight early, so I can negate it with the trap. And the Mexi kind of backfires a little bit, it gives them more options to draw into their one-card starters, and there is still a popular, uh, poplar, poplar, <laughs> not populous, poplar, in the deck, and... I was about to say this is pretty much full Fire King combo again, so I was like, oof, I, I thought I was in a good position. Maybe I underestimated my board and my potential foul up plays a little bit, but they're still under Dweller, so okay, okay, no full combo because of Dweller. But still, like, the Garonix there is, is still a huge attack beat stick, and uh, that's definitely a threat, one of the bigger, you know, bigger threats for, um, for tier element, right? Bigger attack or higher attack monsters. And I was a bit overconfident again in this situation, so using Pearl Loreno, tried to get the search and, you know, try to gain control of the duel, but I lose Pearl Loreno to the quick play spell, the popper right. And uh, this was my mistake. I thought I one of the shufflers used one of my, sh the only shuffler I had uh, left in the graveyard, and I was like, if you shuffle back the target off of the snake eye spell, they will not have been able, you know, not have been able to search. That's not true. Uh, so that's a small bummer, because now they're able to surge that true King Garonix, a uh, true King, the Garonix again, the Fire King Garonix. So I surge Hefness, try to get, you know, the um, <laughs> the slot machine going. But this is a small mistake on their part, because because I use the monster effect, I can drop Hefness. The mills, the mills trigger my Kaleido, and now Kaleido can bounce back the Promethean Princess, probably. The thing is, is that, sure, they probably would have gone for a game with, what is it, the um, Cellar and Great and um, Zealantus combo, but uh, the Hefness kind of saves my uh, bottom here in this situation. So the Anima is fine, but this Garura, you know, it's, it's just giving me an extra draw, potentially drawing hand traps, shufflers or whatever, and uh, yeah, as expected, Remetian Princess already used up her effect, and she's, you know, hard once per turn, and we can capitalize on that small mistake earlier, and this should be my duel, again, Mudora, which get, gets belt. <laughs> it gets belt, guys, Jesus. But look at this, like, like this deck playing through all of those Fire King interruptions is kind of scary. So that brings me with uh, the fact that, first of all, okay, 
kind of following it up with the votes we saw that fire king snake eyes was the underdog in this matchup because of the most obvious reasons looking at the shufflers mainly but um that brings me with the question should we add ishizu tier to the next cross balanced cup so definitely expect uh, an announcement video tomorrow right with the decks asking for decks deck lists and suggestions that's for tomorrow but again feel free to leave suggestions and feedback okay guys that's it thanks for watching feel free to leave a card to like if you enjoyed the video leave them signing out Peace.